Hi everyone and welcome to our English acquiring channel and uh, vocabulary building uh, topic uh, deliberating studies. Yes, uh, because this video is the video uh, before the last video. Yes, so uh, we have almost uh, almost come to the end of our program. Uh, which includes six harmonies. Yes, this is the sixth. Uh, this is the sixth harmony and the last harmony of our program. And lots of things come to my mind uh, concerning uh, learning English. Of course, everybody uh, finds a way. Yes, if a learner uh, has curiosity or uh, as will, willingness, he or she can find a way. But of course, being busy with something uh, that we want to learn is a kind of preparation for us, is a kind of prayer. And uh, so that uh, engagement or uh, that struggle for uh, doing something about what we shall learn uh, keeps our curiosity alive and active. So when we uh, start to learn it, I think it will uh, it will uh, certainly become easier and taste tastier. Yes, like appetite for appetite for if we have appetite for learning something then it is just like uh, it means that we have a curiosity for uh, uh, learning something yes for example reading let's uh, focus on reading the importance of reading uh, for example uh, uh, there was this sentence in Don Quixote while I was reading Don Quixote uh, it says, uh, children stoned Don Quixote. Stone means, as as you know, as a hard piece of uh, piece of rock. Uh, but uh, it has. I, I then uh, uh, recognize that it also has a verb form because it says, children stoned Don Quixote. Of course. Uh, for example, I remember that I uh, also read Tom Sawyer, Robinson Crusoe, uh, or other Treasure Islands, some detective stories, Sherlock Holmes, uh, and uh, for example, some other simplified and original. For example, a farewell to arms, farewell to arms by Ernest Ernest Hemingway. Uh, I read it originally in its original form. Yes, they really contribute to our uh, learning English. But okay, to keep it short, okay, let's uh, concentrate. Uh, let's focus on our topic. Okay, considering a human being as a whole, human is not just made up of matter. Human is human with his or her both material and spiritual aspects. Yes, as you know, as everybody knows, human is a human being is considered as the masterpiece. And uh, it is value, uh, its way or the value of the human being is in his or her, uh, in his or her, uh, Antiqueness, only antique dealers, antique dealers knows its value very well, not the blacksmiths or uh, copper smiths. Yes, uh, so uh, not, of course, material side is important, but uh, its value mostly in its, uh, in its, spiritual aspects and in its being an antique piece of work. 
piece of art, sorry, or work of art. Yes, a piece of art or a work of art. Wherever we go, we go there materially, materially and spiritually. Yes, because of our uh, our uh, double sides. Yes, we are not made up of only our material side, but also uh, we are made up of our psychological and spiritual sides. Who could have passed from here? Yes. This is again because of curiosity, for example, those footprints, footprints uh, arose or raise our curiosity. And we really want to know who or whom uh, do they belong to? Yes. Why are they there? Yes. Uh, or what do they signify? of what they are the sign or what are they the signs of okay how do we read the footprints or hoof prints if there are footprints we say someone passed from here they signify the feet the basic truths are very simple and obvious uh, actually in fact, they are really simple and obvious, but they need, of course, curiosity, sincerity, and uh, willingness. Yes. The causes are observed in the horizontal plane, but the consequences occur vertically. By thinking vertically, we understand the cause of the causes. Diversity or diversity uh, is due to diverse, beautiful names. Diverse, beautiful names. The human being is prism to beautiful names of Allah. So we can observe, we can witness the, uh, the signs of those beautiful names. We look at ourselves and say God is the only self-existent being, uh, self-existent being. We build the identity and personality not on the I and we, but on He. So Yunus Emre said this, there is an I in me, inner than me. God gives us something and wants us not to own them. We are wanted to do good things in the process of building our identity or personality. We are not want, wanted to possess them. From a right uh, starting point, from where or who is the beauty of the self and the beauty of other beings? Of course, they are from the uh, from the source of beauty. Yes, Allah is Jamil. Yeah, Allah is uh, the beautiful and uh, the provider of beauty uh, with beauty uh, for all those beings. Yes, or all those beings are provided with beauty by God. Direction gives meaning and method makes it achievable. A lack of purpose, direction gives purpose, yeah. Direction, purpose gives meaning and method steps of uh, achieving it or implementing something to achieve it. Uh, it makes it achievable. So method is also as necessary as the purpose. A lack of purpose feels like drowning in abundance. There are lots of beautiful, excellent things around you. But if we are not concentrated on the purpose, so we may not be aware of them. While a lack of method feels like 
being stranded without a road. Although there are roads, there are many, many roads, if we, uh, if we haven't acquired a method, then it means that we are methodless. Yes, we have no method. We have no road. So balance or unbalance. There is no happy medium between balance and unbalance. Balance is the happy medium itself. Yes, justice, for example. Justice is uh, justice is a right itself. To, uh, justice is truth itself. Yes, justice is balance itself. Keeping the balance is all about coherence, harmony, and justice. Information that we do not analyze or compose is a burden in our minds and hearts. So we have to uh, try to uh, analyze and try to compose the information that we have already uh, acquired. Developing, sustaining, and conserving innovation must go hand in hand with tradition in the search for meaning. Yes, we really need this harmony, this balance between innovation and tradition. And we say there is no God but Allah. We never say there is no God but the ego or but the nature. So uh, they are all uh, from God and they uh, hinge on God. They depend on God. They, I mean, uh, our ego, our self and the nature and everything in the nature uh, are dependent on God, including us. Like angels do, we will also make choices in the paradise, but there will be a choice between beauties. We will choose one beauty over another beauty. The investment is made to the positive side. Yeah, this is the way of the mind. The solution is found with modesty, energy, courtesy, and compassion. All good qualities are on the positive side of the ego. If we manage to control the negative aspect of the ego, we will gain energy for the positive aspect of the ego uh, to uh, enhance it, to develop it. Okay. Wisdom and compassion. Contemplation is done with wisdom. Service is with compassion. Yes. Every good thing requires something good, some good principles, standards, methods. Okay, this is all for now, and I wish you a good day. See you in the next video, and bye for now.